federal military government in Nigeria has taken over the administration of the country. Events of the past few years have indicated that despite our great human and material resources, the government has not been able to fulfill the legitimate expectations of our people. Gentlemen of the press, the Nigerian armed forces could not stand idly by while this country was drifting towards a dangerous state of political and economic collapse through the continued ineptitude and insensitiveness of a political leadership who were apparently unwilling to change. I have had extensive consultations within the armed forces hierarchy and other well-meaning Nigerians in a bid to find solutions to the various political, economic and social problems which have engulfed our beloved country and which have made life most difficult to the ordinary citizens of this nation. There have been many significant moments and periods in Nigerian history lost to a younger generation because they weren't taught in classrooms and few books on them are available online or in print. Coups, assassinations, civil war, regimes and republics. As it said, those who don't know history are doomed to repeat it. So where does cinema come in? What role do filmmakers play in telling these stories and making sure they aren't forgotten? Hotel Rwanda revealed the tragedy of the genocide through civilian eyes. By humanizing it via personal experience, it elevated the viewer to a place where documentaries and newsreels don't always reach. To help, give him a machete. Don't waste bullets on cockroach traitors. Sometimes the neighbor covered the same events, but this time it was seen through the eyes of a soldier. The issue of child soldiers had been told a few times, showing the damage and long-term psychological effect war has on children. Nigeria has had its large share of tragedy in the last 70 years, but very little of it has been captured in motion pictures. Very few stories have been put on film. As a result, many in the younger generation are unaware of the mistakes made in the past, of the choices, ideology and positions taken by the citizens and leadership. Northerners in our civil service here, and I try to have it northernized and now all, all important posts are being held by northerners. Is this policy of filling all key posts in the north solely with northerners and not with other Nigerians a temporary or permanent one? In actual fact what it is is a northerner first. If you can't get a northerner, then we take an expatriate like yourself on contract. If we can't, then we can employ another Nigerian, but on contract too. This is going to be permanent, I should say, for the, as far as I can foresee, because it will be rather dangerous to see the number of boys we are now turning from our, all our learning institutions coming out with having no, no work to do. I'm sure whichever government of the day might be, it will I feel rather embarrassed and it might even lead to bloodshed. Doesn't this damage the idea, sir, of uh, all people in all regions in Nigeria being fellow citizens of one country? Well, it might, but well, um, you are, I mean, new to our region, but how many northerners are employed in the east or in the west? The answer is no. They were with you, were they? Oh, of course they did. They all were also watching us. Did the sound almost in the cell attempt to fight? Well, no. We didn't see him until the time we actually shot him. He ran away from his house when we fired the first few shots of anti-tank gun into the building. The whole roof was blown up and the place was set alight. Then we went to the rear of the house and started checking from room to room until we found him amongst the women and children, hiding himself. So we sort of took, her, took away the women and children and uh, uh, took him. Films which vicariously portray these periods in history could be what opens the eyes of many millennials and the MTV generation to see the dangers of these ideologies they've adopted. Few films have touched on these periods in history and that's a very good start. There's an abundance of stories which can be and need to be told. Them 
blacks are mistreating blacks in Nigeria. What's the reason? That's worse. The police beat people on the streets like dogs. To really understand them, to understand us, one has always to bear in mind that we are fighting most reluctantly. We are not fighting as a concerted policy to do something or to see something. It's a reflex action. We have to do it because something is happening to yes. us. I just hope we can tell these stories before, before so the major institutions will be carried out. The military, the police, the customs, the judiciary, NITEL, NNPC, NEPA, the banking industry, and our higher institutions of learning. This regime will be firm, humane, and decisive. We will not condone nor tolerate any act of indiscipline. Any attempt to test our will will be decisively dealt with for the international...